the placental growth factor test is a blood test that we can offer to women that allows us to exclude preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a multi-system disorder. It's defined as a new onset hypertension um, after 20 weeks gestation, along with proteinuria or maternal organ dysfunction. It could affect the kidneys, the liver, or in severe cases, go on to have like eclampsia or stroke. John Castell was one of the first in the Yorkshire and Humber to take up the preeclampsia testing. From an AHSM perspective, our role is to engage with the local trusts, let them know that the test's available, and see whether they want to implement within their trusts. Traditionally, if a lady's presenting with symptoms, a lot of the time it would involve a lady being admitted to hospital, maybe it's up to a couple of days, and then kind of make a plan from there. Whereas the blood test allows us to exclude preeclampsia, let's say for the next seven days, and avoid an unnecessary admission if she doesn't need to be in hospital. So a lady would arrive with either high blood pressure or significant protein in her urine. Then we would take a, a blood test sample, and then we just take an additional gold bottle tube, which is specific to the placental growth factor ratio. So that goes off to the labs. General processing time is around four hours or so. If it's a low risk result, then we are confident that the lady does not have preeclampsia at that point. And a higher risk result over 85, we would consider therefore the ladies likely to develop preeclampsia. So we would treat similarly to ladies that have preeclampsia with the pathway. During my first pregnancy, I was suffering with high blood pressure and protein in my urine. So many routine hospital appointments and midwifery appointments resulted in having to be admitted to triage for blood tests on my liver and kidneys to rule out preeclampsia. Again, in my second pregnancy, I spent a lot of time away from home, a lot of time away from work. The appointments themselves are pretty unpredictable and it used to cause me quite a lot of anxiety. This current pregnancy has run a lot smoother. The whole process took around two hours. They did the blood test and said, nope, you're way below the threshold. You can leave, you're safe to go home with regular checks on your blood pressure. And it's just been fabulous because I've not been in and out of hospital. I've not been admitted. I've not had to have time off work. It really has, you know, made me slow down a little bit, chill out and, and enjoy being pregnant this time. For us as clinicians, if we've got women that we can exclude without preeclampsia, it allows us to concentrate more on those women that are more likely to develop it. AHSN has been working closely with us. They've been very supportive, helping us to, you know, take it forward and spread the word around the region. In Yorkshire and Humber, we actually managed to save over 5,000 bed days and we managed to discharge 1,100 women in total. It's been lovely to actually enjoy the thought of becoming a new mum, knowing that myself and my baby are as safe as we possibly can be. It really has meant the world.